Gran, it's time for another idea to pitch up and I would want to know more about this if you guys would want something like this. I'm, I'm doing a bit of a Disney if you think about it. I'm pulling a Disney. I am literally going to pull the biggest Disney ever. I am going to freaking tell you guys this big thing. Would you guys like a remake? <laughs> Not of my own stuff, but of someone else's work. Now, this sounds a bit retarded if you, you guys must be kind of you know thinking that i'm i'm going off the, the deep end and yes i am going way past the deep end but trust me this isn't about the deep end you know and going so far in that it's about making a really good remake that is themed very differently so what i want to do is make a horror themed version of this and it's gonna be cool it's gonna be amazing i hope there's no other versions of this please tell me there's no versions of this or else or else i must i'll have to you know try my best to add a few stuff to make it different but i would want to basically have have a um this is gonna be live action by the way so you know um once you get my studio and stuff post a lot of shots post a lot of stuff and then get ready for this amazing movie the live action version Red Riding Hood. I know, very epic. <laughs> now, I thought about this when watching a porno. <laughs> like, um, transfixed. If you watch that on Pornhub, hey, it's a good porno, but it's like the best porno ever. Um, basically, a tranny and just a normal, I think, straight girl or something like that. And then they're just playing the roles and stuff, and they just have sex. And, like, in the first scene, it's like, they're so cool and then af after that you know they're inside the room oh yeah in the first scene by the way they're outside yeah i have to say that because the first scene is just boring you just have to skip through it maybe because i don't know i can't remember that much i think i did skip through it you know what matter of fact i think i would skip through the intro and stuff because sometimes it's too slow <laughs> anyways skip through that stuff and go to a nice but it's amazing never watch the end though because I finish too fast sometimes and I just don't know what I don't know I, maybe I left maybe I kept getting disrupted or maybe something happened but I don't know what happened <laughs> okay anyways um for a while I was thinking you know what we should make a horror version where little red riding hood is gonna be an amazing gal you know trying to deliver you know food to a sick grandma the same story but you know, let's make the wolf a bit more of a killer wolf. Let's make, let's add a few monsters to it. Maybe if it's not original, um, uh, I swear this is a thing. Maybe I'm thinking about other werewolf shows and stuff. But okay, I think there is a thing, but it was like a more of a wolf theme. I I think so. I think there was a, a film like this. Tell me in the comments below, cause I know, um, it was like wolves everywhere and stuff, and the, it wasn't so much about the full story. I guess about. We're writing it, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to be epic. So what I, what I would want to do is, if you would play my visual novel that will come out very soon, you would realize there's a forest, and this forest is, I don't know what, I forgot what it's called, a cursed forest or something like that, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff in it, but I don't want to just put that in the film. I would want to make a different forest, a different darker forest. I can't use dark forest, because dark forest is used for my other visual novel. The forest, I mean, the flowers are the beauty, and trust me, the visual novel for that, you know, I mean, the forest for that is amazing. Uh, so, basically, not much dark stuff in it. It's just weird stuff happens and monsters and crap and whatever. But it's just, it's not so much of action in it. You don't really feel scary in that visual novel. But Forest Fest, you will feel a lot of vi uh, horror. So, it is horror, so duh. But uh, what I'm trying to say is... I want to add a bit of that stuff and put it in. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, little red riding and crosses the freaking forest, and there's a lot of stuff she goes through. Maybe something happens. The next thing is CGI. Heck no, CGI. Fuck off. I don't like CGI because, especially when it comes to a lot of movies that can be made simple. Some movies need CGI, like Jurassic World and Jurassic Park and Jurassic World Two and Jurassic World Three and Jurassic World Four and Jurassic World Five and all the Jurassic Worlds in the world. Doesn't make any sense, but. Um, uh, it's like, yes, you will need CGI for that, but you don't need CGI for freaking, like, Jurassic Park, they did an amazing job with the animatronics, wonderful job, um, 
Jurassic Park 2 and Dr I think there are all pretty much all the parks and all the world that actually use animatronics so at least one or two things so or three things so maybe because like they have to use something maybe to just be close but maybe not I don't know um anyways uh it's so weird to think that freaking this is it <laughs> this is what you want to make you want big shot screen and will it be good i don't know right right now in my mental mentally i guess uh i'm i'm just thinking of the cover and stuff i don't i don't want to face right in front of the the you know cover i i want it to be you know like maybe if you are going through a passage there you can see the house right in the background and you can see riding a little bit riding hood you can't see her face because you see the back of her and she's just like in the corner she's you can see she's she's heading towards uh <laughs> grandma's house so um i can add a lot of stuff in it to make it very different maybe have, have a love interest you know because i don't know i was thinking of adding an a female love interest, but then I realized, nah, that, that's not happening. Uh, no, <laughs> please no. I want to give my take on the story and put a few monsters in it, and let's just see what happens. Now I know that there's a lot of right stuff you have to do and get and stuff like that, so I'll try and see what I can do. But this is for the future. Once we get this stuff, we start production and we'll continue production. Trust me, we have a lot to work on, so this is going to be amazing. I would want this to be more of a cinematic form, which I don't think it's possible for us to do because you'll need like a big eye and stuff. I don't like going eye end for too much stuff because I feel like you should still remain indie, which you will still do. But it's like at least sometimes with big productions, we have to go a bit more out and let's just see what happens. Um, even though it's going to be a small team, we can still make a lot of stuff. And I want it to be very horrific where people just scream at stuff or feel the burn i mean feel the fear <laughs> you have to feel it okay feel something and it seems very good to just work with werewolves like after i saw the werewolf in um annabelle comes home amazing like that was just insane um the werewolf for cgi was kind of you know not really the best but it was like hey it's cool to have a werewolf and the werewolf will be animatronics like every monster i will make it will cost a bit, but I feel like it's much better than putting CGI that will be kind of crappy. So we'll have to do something a bit different, okay? Y do you guys rather want a good movie with good animatronics? Or do you guys want a movie with good with good story and good characters and good real life action stuff? All the live action stuff is amazing. Let's just say everything in the live action department is good, but the CGI is like... Uh, Spider-Man from Nollywood, <laughs> or the Predator, or the freaking helicopter and stuff. It's like, do you want this stuff, or do you want something good? So, we have to know our capabilities, and we're not going to go out of our way. The movie could come out, once, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll just make covers and stuff first, and just see what happens, and then take a few shots. I'll work with the summary, because it's going to be very different, and I hope everything will be okay for this movie. Once again... Uh, it seems kind of good to get all these ideas, but it's like, Lorato, you have to execute them one day. And it's like, yeah, I have to, but, like, these IM productions will take more time than regular animations. I know that for a fact, so let's just see what happens. I hope uh, it all turns out okay, and let's just see. Okay, uh, any questions? Ah, uh, my teeth's gone cold. Uh, well, it's just like... A few inches of tea or something like that, so however you measure tea. <laughs> ah, tea is weird. But of course, um, the movie would be very good. Casting, I would get. I won't get freaking A listers, okay? It will have to be shot in this country, obviously. There's plenty of land and stuff here that we can actually use and stuff, and it's gonna be amazing, guys. Trust me. Uh, characters, I would want the Red Riding Hood. But the red riding hood to be sexy. Very sexy. I'm not joking. Like just I don't know, maybe an adult red riding hood. Um something like that, you know. Put up a short hair maybe and uh, you know, just 
thick. <laughs> uh, trust me, all the porn up vi vibes are just in my head. Trust me, don't don't watch porn up, okay? When it comes to love interest, I love the give. I'm not gonna spoil who the love interest is, but I'll create another character that's related to an, a main character. That's part of the story. Um, but I don't want to put a female love interest because I feel like I don't think that the main creators would want this. Because then again, it's like people get angry and stuff. It's like I don't know. I just don't feel right. That sometimes you'll feel it's okay to put it in, but sometimes you don't. You feel it's like you're just forcing it in. So. There we go. Maybe we can add something like, you know, another female character trying to impress with me with writing it, but it's like, it's just, she's kind of, I don't know, weird and stuff, so let's just see what happens, but they won't get together and stuff. Just Let's just see what happens. We have to experiment with some stuff in the movie, and let's just see. Um, now, trust me, I don't know how this would go, how the filming and stuff would go, but I know for a fact it's going to be fun, and it's going to be a good learning experience for all of us all together. Um, Final thoughts on this movie? It would be awesome. Can I take this? Okay. Final thoughts on this movie. I feel like this movie could be a bit different in some ways, a bit interesting, and trust me, I want it to be very gory and stuff, but also horror, and focus more on horror than gore as well. Like, there needs to be a balance as well. So, it will be an 18 plus movie and stuff, so it's gonna be cool. Um, maybe we can make a few more other stuff in the future, remakes and stuff. No, trust me, I'm not going to end up like this. I just want to make a few projects and stuff because it's going to be cool. I don't think we can make something cinematic or anything cinematic or even close to cinematic, but the thing is that we could just put it for online and let's just see how much f ad revenue it throws in. So that's just something we could get out of it, you know, because it's copyrighted and we don't want, you know, I mean, it's a story we can't get part of the story or ownership or whatever i guess we just can't do that but we can do it for youtube so okay um anyways uh if it is cinematic it's going to be amazing to just watch but i don't know if it'll air every country because i don't know i have no idea i have just have no idea if it can or if it will uh Everything has to be very chilling in this movie. I would just want it to be horror effect. Because if this is going to be our first ever cinematic jump into theaters, trust me, this is going to be an amazing thing that you guys would not want to miss out. But then again, I don't know how this will work. So trust me, production will start at the end once I get my land and once I get rights and stuff or whatever. And it will be amazing. You'll see stuff. I won't hype the movie too much. There will just be a few posters and stuff and pictures and maybe a few t-shirts and stuff like that but pins and whatever and badges or freaking ties or something something part of merch but nothing too hyped up um once it happens it's gonna be cool but i feel like it would mostly air in this country because it depends it all depends on like i don't know i don't know if it's that good maybe we'll try it here first and if it's that good then all over the world baby but i don't know if about china i'm not I don't know. I'll make one more video talking about China because it's very interesting. So let's just go. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Love you all.